Alex with windowcleaner.com. This is the Zero Inline TDS meter. I'm gonna show you how to use it and where you can install this simple inline TDS meter. So being that this is inline, it'll give you real-time readings as the water is flowing through it. You don't have to stop or collect any water. As the water passes through the unit, it'll simply give off a reading. So there's a few places you can install this. If you want to put it on your water-fed pole and always have it there as a checkpoint, I'd recommend putting it near the top, obviously not at the bottom where the hose is going to have to be constantly changed and extended or retracted and you don't want it on the ground or dragging around. So putting it at the top of your pole is an option. It's really, really lightweight, so it's not like it's going to add much to the top of the water-fed pole. Um, but to install it, all I would do is come out of the fast lock here, remove the tubing from the brush, and then I went and pre-cut a small section of tube. It's about two inches, two and a half inches long. Put it on the top of the unit, connect that back to the brush. Take this there, and then you're just gonna pull the tubing. And the fitting is gonna actually sit kind of nicely right at the top of the pole there. So once we turn the water on, I'm gonna hit the on off button. That's all there is to this, turn it on. We'll run some water through it and see what our system is producing. We have our Zero Pure inside feeding our outside spigot. So right now we just went from zero to two, back to zero. So we're reading zero parts per million from the water right from our Zero Pure. Having it on the top of your pole, you may just want to be extra cautious. You're not, you know, banging it into the frames. Again, this is one place I have seen people install this. Um, it's also easy enough to install it right at the zero pure. Uh, the water is going to flow through and just give you your, your reading as you work constantly. When it comes to TDS readings, you want to make sure that you change that DI resin at at least 10 parts per million. It's going to read 010. That's 10 parts per million. Um, anything higher than that, you are going to run the risk of spotting on the glass and uh, you don't have to redo any windows. So keep that resin changed as needed. Okay, another place you can install this inline TDS meter is right at the outlet of the system here. So if you're using the supplied fittings with your zero water fed pole, all you wanna do is remove this push fitting and there's a nice barb right there. This is the same exact size push fitting that's on the TDS meter. Just leave it right over that barb and you're good to go. You can hook your pole tubing up on the other end here and same deal, just click the on button and it'll give you a reading of the water directly from your zero pure. Always being aware of the TDS of the water being produced by your zero system is incredibly important. You can check it with a handheld meter or you can check it with this inline TDS meter from zero. It's available at windowcleaner.com.